Hello, I'm Dr. Alexandre Amato, a vascular surgeon at the Amato Institute. And I'm going to answer a question that's important for those with lipedema, which is, does every case of lipedema need surgery? Is it really necessary to perform liposuction uh, on every patient with lipedema? Look, liposuction is mentioned in the literature as the gold standard in the treatment of uh, lipedema, but it's not a silver bullet. It won't treat the genetics, it won't treat the cause, and then a, uh, there's a limit to what can be done. And some patients will improve more and others less. So what we know, is that in more advanced stages, older patients usually get less benefit from surgery. So we have to consider several factors before recommending surgery. Obviously, uh, the patient's desire must be taken into consideration. And it has to be synchronized with what the doctor can and should offer. So you see, we uh, divide lipidema into four stages. Stage one has little fat deposition, but usually the patient has many symptoms. And stage four is the final stage of the disease where there is already associated lymphedema. Although recently a study showed that lipedema starts from the beginning with lymphatic damage. So it's a problem in the lymphatic system leading to fat deposition. So when we see a very symptomatic patient in the early stage, Sometimes we can control everything with clinical treatment without the need for surgical treatment. When we have a patient in the final stage, sometimes surgical treatment is what can help the most, but it might not help that much. So all of this has to be taken into consideration. The main point is when we operate or treat lipedema, the primary goal is to prevent the loss of mobility. So. If I have the opportunity to perform surgery today, I need to be concerned about what will happen to the patient down the road in 20, 30 years. Could they lose mobility because of lipedema? So the surgery at this moment has to help prevent that issue. The second point is to reduce symptoms. So we need to treat the symptoms and improve the patient's condition symptomatically. Less pain, less bruising, less discomfort, all of this has to be taken into consideration. And the third point is aesthetics. Obviously, the appearance of the legs needs to improve, uh, but often patients prioritize everything in reverse. They don't realize that down the line, they might lose mobility. So they put aesthetics first as the most important thing. And this can hinder proper treatment. So the doctor needs in the, to think about the future of the disease, its natural progression, and if he has an uh, opportunity to perform a surgery, he will have to prevent mobility loss and reduce symptoms. Now, we don't always need surgery to do this. Depending on the distribution, the most affected areas, the amount of fat, many times we can treat it clinically. That's why it's necessary to conduct an investigation and follow up with a specialist. Did you like our video? Subscribe to our channel, click below, on the bell for notifications and share with your friends.